Hello and welcome to this Meraki Minute video. Today we're going to be talking about the integration between Thousand Eyes and Meraki. We will start by defining what the integration is about. We will talk about the use cases and the needs uh, that our customers can address thanks to this uh, integration. We will do a demo and then we'll talk about some caveats that we may find uh, during this. So the integration between Meraki and Thousand Eyes is through the product Meraki Insight, or also with the MX SD1 Plus license. So what is it that we get is, first, we get the product of internet outages. For those who don't know what is this, is basically we get a global overview of the current status of the internet service providers to understand whether whenever I have an outage, is something related to my network or is it something global? The second one and the focus of this video is about active monitoring. What as it is consists of is basically we're going to be installing a Thousand Eyes Enterprise agent on the MX. Huge brackets here is that the MX needs to be uh, of the model MX67 or above or ha and have uh, the firmware MX18.1 or above. We extremely recommend having the license SD1 Plus because this will enable us to have 3,000 eyes tests included. What's interesting about this integration between the enterprise agent in the MX and Meraki is that we will be able to create the test templates, i.e. my creation of my applications directly through the dashboard. Before we start with the demo, just couple of things to take into account about this integration is that right now we don't support SSO or SAML accounts. So if you have one, well, we won't be able to support that for now. And it's very, very important to ensure that my Meraki dashboard organization is in the same region as my Thousand Eyes dashboard organization. Okay. Even if they're not matching, we should basically create a new account so that they match. Um, and then let's start with the demo. Okay, so for the demo, we will see that um, all customers who have an MX, okay, if you have your SD1 Plus license or an advanced security license or your Meraki Insight license, you will find here a new tab called Active Application Monitoring. In here, um, everyone is entitled to a 90 days trial, no matter which license do you have. So let's go and give it a go. So first thing we're going to do is that we're going to add some tests. How do we do this is first we need to connect the Thousand Eyes account. If you have an existing one, we just connect to your existing one. And otherwise, they will prompt us to create a new account. Afterwards, we will choose which application I want to monitor. So in my case, uh, we use a lot of WebEx in Cisco, of course, for all our video conferences and meetings. So I'm going to use WebEx and I'm going to put the subdomain of cisco.webex.com. And then here I can choose which networks I want to install this agent, this Thousand Eyes Enterprise agent. Remember that we need to be MX67 or above and the firmware MX18.1 or above. So. Uh, in my case, I'm going to install it in San Francisco as well as in Sydney. And I'm going to click Next. And that will give me a summary of what I have. Basically, I'm going to be starting to monitor. Once that's done, I'm going to click on View Applications. And this will take me to a new tab in the Thousand Eyes uh, dashboard. In here, I'll be able to see what's happening with my WebEx application, because what we're doing is that we are sending synthetic tests to my WebEx application at a set frequency. And that allows me to see the availability as well as the response time, um, response time, throughput, loss, latency, jitter, and as well as other interesting um, features in the Thousand Eyes dashboard. Another um, very interesting feature and something that really drives this Thousand Eyes integration apart of what we currently have available is that we can also see the underlay path. So how we're going to do that is that we can see the underlay path from our MX in San Francisco all the way to my Cisco WebEx data center. 
And that I can see through path visualization. So if we go down here, I can see that, for example, I start in San Francisco and then I can see hop by hop all the places I my traffic goes through until I reach my WebEx uh, data center, which in this case is in Texas, United States. So it's complete, really, really easy, this integration, as you can see, and we get tons of information to understand whether whenever my customer has a problem with an application, is it me, is it the network, is it the application, is it the service provider, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, if we, I want to show you um, here, what are the typical use cases for the Faustnice integration? So the typical use cases uh, is when, for example, I have my office and it has a direct internet access to one of these applications, the ones I mentioned, that be WebEx or Microsoft or whatever custom application you have. And that will provide me all those info interesting information such as loss, latency, jitter, and underlay path. Just to end this quick mini Meraki Minute video, there are currently two limitations to take into account. So for all these customers that have the SASE integration with Umbrella or any other uh, secure web gateway, it is important to note that the HTTPS inspection need to be disabled between my thousandized agent, i.e. my MX, and the uh, application that I am monitoring in order for the integration to work. And also another limitation that we have is that for traffic going through my auto VPN, that means my basically my side-to-side -side, uh, VPN, for now, we don't have uh, underlay path visualization. We have information about loss, latency, jitter, availability, et cetera, but no path visualization. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, give a thumbs up and see you around. Bye.